Hello, today we're gonna to talk about the OMTEC Autofocus 2335. It has a 23 and a half by 35 and a half working area with a maximum Z depth of eight inches. Um, it has a 80 watt CO2 tube. Um, it's almost four feet long. It's in the back of the unit. I'll show a clip of it in just a second. And I have been using it to engrave cutting boards, lots of cutting boards and it has been fantastic. Uh, I have done some modifications to it. So I do have a light kit that I've installed. I've also installed the American Photonics. Right now I have the inch and a half uh, lens on, but I do have the full lens kits uh, from the inch and a half to the four inch. Um, I also have a light burn camera. I don't use it very often, but I do have it and it does work pretty good. Uh, it just requires a little bit of calibration each time. Um, but otherwise it's fantastic. Uh, it is the 4K variant. Um, let's see what else I've done. I have the SNA CW5000 chiller, um, just because I live in a very hot state. And uh, so I need every ounce of coolness that uh, I can get. Um, I also have the uh, a EVAC fan, um, and I can't remember the brand right off the top of my head, but I will put it in the description. Um, I don't use it as much as uh, all of the other accessories just because it's uh, a little bit louder and it's not always necessary. So um, I only use it about half the time, but it is uh, fantastic whenever I do need it. Um, I use Lightburn for my designing and for running the laser. Um, it is a fantastic piece of software. Uh, I came from a sign making industry, so uh, I'm familiar with the type of software, uh, but I could see how it can be kind of daunting if you've never used it, but uh, you know, don't fear, you know, don't give up. Every day you'll learn a little bit more and uh, it is just a, once you get used to it, um, it's fantastic. You know, it, it can do a lot. Um, like I said, I engraved cutting boards with it and I've done you know, everything from bamboo, which they look okay. Um, to, you know, higher end custom imported hardwoods that I, I try to specialize in. It does have a tube life of 8,000 hours. Um, that is actually the reason that I purchased this unit versus the 60 watt was the, uh, the lifespan of the tube. Um, as long as you run at 10 to 40% power, the uh, expected lifespan of the tube is seven to 8,000 hours. Um, and I've never had to run it over that. Um, you know, the, the most powerful I think I've ever run it is 40 or 45 percent power, and that was to cut through quarter inch hardwood or uh, quarter inch plywood, um, which I have a video that I posted of that, um, and that's the most powerful I've had to do. Eighth inch plywood, it cuts like butter, um, literally like butter. Uh, it's so easy. So if you're making little boxes out of eighth inch hardware or eighth inch plywood or anything like that, it is just fantastic. Um, it will cut any of the plexis. So I came from a diode laser, so you couldn't cut anything clear, engrave on anything clear. You can with this. You can engrave glass, you can engrave on clear plexiglass or any colors of acrylic. Um, it does a fantastic job of that. I've made a bunch of little keychains uh, using little acrylic um, uh, 12 by 12 sheets and it is you know it, it does a fantastic job and it's very fast now I don't have a rotary but that is on the to-do list uh, I am planning on getting a rotary at some point soon um, it's not something that's really in my wheelhouse but it's something that I'm definitely interested in um, and so that's also another reason that I chose this is it has the 8 inch match max Z depth so I can fit you know pretty sizable rotary or setup into it um, or anything up to eight inches thick that I'm going to engrave. Um, and I have engraved a couple of, you know, tables and things that were a little bit thicker um, and it has been fantastic. All right. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, um, put them in the comments and I will get right back to you. Thanks. Have a great day.
Yeah.